Right, I'm massively out of breath because I'm late for my own party. And many of you recall about six months ago, I did a anti-YouTube summer solstice special where I just basically went on a walk and let the camera run. Well, I'm doing the same today. Hopefully gonna catch the winter solstice sunset, which is happening in about, I don't know, half an hour, just over. Um, and I just invited anyone from this community who was in the Edinburgh area to come along. And uh, so I don't know how many people are gonna turn up. I think I know there's definitely gonna be at least one person. Um, so that's good. And I've had a couple of tweets today, people saying they're coming. So two or three maybe, we'll see. And uh, basically I'll run cameras, but the weather's very different today than it was in the summer. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on the lens, not getting all kind of rained on. So there may be the odd break um, just for me to clean the lens. Right, just need to go over the brow of this hill where I've asked everyone to meet me. Um, and we'll be setting off in about five, 10 minutes. Um, and we're basically going to the top of Crow Hill today. Um, I was gonna go the operatic route, but the going is really slippery muddy. So I don't wanna be responsible for people breaking their ankles. So we're just gonna go up the side, around the back and over, which is a nice and quick, uh, easy route. And also should guarantee us well being present for the sun set whether it's there or not I don't know we're quite lucky because this weather is just kind of skimming past us we've almost got a clear sky right Oscar 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 where's Bonnie where's Bonnie where's Bonnie go on go on Oscar go on go on Oscar go on Oscar 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 kill <laughs> oh it's a fair it's a nice group Oscar, kill, kill! <laughs> Even and all? That's a good turnout. <laughs> awesome. How are you all doing? Good. Excellent. And one girl, brilliant. <laughs> How are you all doing? Good, good. good to see you. <sighs> Rolly, how's it going? Good Anything. to see you. You all right? Yeah, Excellent. Meet Oscar. <laughs> so I think this weather's just skimming past us, fortunately. So we just that's had good. the rain. Yeah. yeah, so it's <laughs> meant that it's really, really slippery on the ground, so you have to be careful going up. How are you doing, Alan? You're right? Hi, good to see you, yeah. Excellent. So, all from Edinburgh? Yeah. Nope. No. <laughs> kind of. LA based, but uh, from France, actually. From, you, so, where did you come to? From? I came from France. I was in, on vacation there, but I flew yesterday. Oh man, that's nuts! <laughs> that's great! Did you have any of the troubles? Because I'm quite tired today, because I was filming loads of drone footage down in Gatwick yesterday. Yeah. Nightmare that none of the planes were taking off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm knackered because my flight was buggered yesterday. I didn't know if you... Uh, was, that one of your drones, drones. Sorry? was that one of your drones? <laughs> exactly. Um, I think we're all here. So should we head off? Yeah. 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 Excellent. Right, it's this way. Oscar, come by. Been a bit delinquent today. I nearly brought my dog, but I thought maybe not. <laughs> Oscar's very friendly. Come on, lad. Excellent. Keep light, yeah. I've already got rain on the lens. I'm from Cumbria. You came up from Cumbria? Yeah. Oh, nice one, man. What's the weather like down there at the moment? It's raining more. Really? Really? It's quite rainy there, isn't yeah. it? But, and so you went right in the kind of Lake District? Yeah. Excellent. I think the Cumbrian accent is one of the most difficult to identify for me. I don't have it. So you know, you don't, but I'm, I worked with an editor who was Cumbrian and she, it's kind of one minute it's Liverpudley and one minute it's kind of Yorkshire. Ah oh dear. I'm going to get terrible vlogging elbow today. I can just feel it. So what, what do you do? I'm a student in Manchester. Excellent, and you're studying? Music production, Right. wanting to go into film. Sort of right. Media composition. Excellent. And um, uh, what, what door do you use? Logic. 
Okay. A bit of Pro Tools. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to learn it already. Yeah, I think it's really good to get good at... The big one with Pro Tools, I think, the, the chops to learn with that is um, playlists. Because yeah. those become... I think what's so clever about Pro Tools is you can have multiple reels and multiple cues and getting the the playlists is the way that you kind of uh, do all that. So that's, uh, but you know, it's good. And is it a good course, enjoying it? Yes, well, you course. can't say that on camera, no, it's a load <laughs> no, of shit. it's really good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, so how many more years? Um, two more years, just, well, halfway through my first year. Right. So, yeah. My lecturer um, actually told me about your channel. So, oh, great, yeah. well, that's good to know. Excellent, fantastic. So back, back down to Cumbria for Christmas. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> right. This is really, I fall down on this one all the time here. <laughs> be, be careful. This is the hill that looks really, um, it looks really flat. Oh, yeah. And people are always going really worried about your health, Christian. You're really kind of panting. <laughs> it's like, it's actually quite, quite a steep hill. That's what a lovely turnout. Yeah, the mud doesn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the <laughs> you got to go back and film everybody falling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what kind of... You kind of working on your, your style of... We're what trying to discover it, really. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm 47 and I'm still... <laughs> it's an ongoing thing, really. <laughs> Whoa! I had not this this is where I had a fall once and I had two bags of dog poo and I fell into the dog poo just went all over me and uh, and I broke my camera as well it's like kind of a 300 pound shitty instant oh. this is the worst bit What kind of stuff interests you? Kind of, you into hybrid stuff or more pure orchestral or? Um, sort of like mixing genres, really. Yeah. What I want to get into. Like, just, I think, especially with film and TV, that's you can really get into that. Absolutely. It must be quite interesting because when I was kind of breaking into the industry, it was all about eventually aiming for film as the kind of the, the true goal. But I think that the playing field is leveling a bit for TV. I think most film composers want to do TV now, which is a total flip. Um, it's certainly where the money is. So it's, but I'd be very interested to know how professors are kind of guiding people into that as opposed to, you know, do you do, do, you do any music to picture at this course? Um, not at the moment. Right. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be interesting if they're kind of calibrating people for TV or for film. Uh, interesting to see. So where have you come from? Uh, well, from the Meadows, actually. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> but I'm from Greece originally. Okay. Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, Crete. But uh, oh, I mean, nice. I grew up in Athens, but yeah. Um, I used it's a to bit of a different weather. <laughs> yeah. I used to spend every summer in Limnos. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely island, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes, yeah, beautiful. Um, uh, but you studying in Edinburgh? Yeah. And what are you studying? Uh, undergraduate, second year now. Of? Uh, music. Music. And it's just a general music? Yeah, yeah. It's a mixed performance and composition. Great. Uh, which is really good because you get to also play music, which is quite important. Great. And do you get your hands on the equipment a lot? Yeah, well, we did sound recording last year as a module. Excellent. It's really cool. Yeah, we got to... Yeah, and what's the what university? Sorry, uh, Edinburgh. University. Edinburgh. Okay. Yeah. I've been to Napier. Uh -huh. They've got a good facility. Yeah. But I tell you what, the best facility I've seen so far in my life is that gentleman Alan down there uh -huh. at Edinburgh College. Oh right. So it's more uh, higher learning. Yeah. But they've got something like six SSLs. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it's, uh, at least we have, we have good instruments as well, so staying with these and uh, a nice hall as well. Yeah. It's quite important. And it's great to be working with people in the university who just want to play. And yeah, great. Great stuff. Ooh. Really nice view. <laughs> and yeah. Where you're coming. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is uh, Dunningston Loch, which is where they codified curling. Oh. In colder times, I imagine, because I've never seen it icy enough to ski, skate on. Way <sighs> more. It really is steeper than it looks on camera. And I do have two massive thermos of coffee and a big bottle of Lagavulin in my back, which has added about two stone to my weight. That's the most difficult bit done though. We'll take a breather here. I haven't come here before. Sorry? I haven't come here before. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people in Edinburgh who've never been up here. Yeah. But it's uh, fantastic. I've done a lot of vlogs from this yeah, spot. Oh, oh jeez. Let's forget how difficult it is to walk and talk. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let them catch up. How are we doing? Excellent. Yeah. We're composers. <laughs> <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> I like this spot here, but it's always covered in human ashes, which is a bit kind of oh. morbid, yeah. But you can see why, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, for those of you who uh, are staying in Edinburgh, you see where those, the church is, behind, to the right, on the banks of the loch, there's this fantastic garden called Dr. Neil's Garden, which was uh, designed by two psychoanalysts as a place for kind of reflection and, uh, it's really beautiful and as I was saying to some of you this is where they codified um, curling and it's also the site of that um, famous painting the skating minister which is do you know that's why the the windows are all that shape on the, the parliament and meant to be an abstraction of that image of the, the minister mm. it doesn't have it doesn't excuse its architectural <laughs> lack of merit though <laughs> I'll let them catch, catch us up So, is that more of us? Right down there? Yeah. Oh yeah, did anyone drop a bottle of water on the way up? No. Oh, no, no, did. Oh, oh, fuck. <sighs> how are you, Alan, all right? I'm good. Excellent. I was just talking about how wonderful your faculty is and with all your SSLs. Yeah, and, and see yeah it's absolutely amazing. Alan's from the... Um, Edinburgh College, which has just a nuts music department. Yeah. Which one is it? The, the one over there? Yeah, so you can actually see it. Yeah. It's the, it used to be an old water college, so the building there looks like white It is, it does. <laughs> Apparently are. So yeah, down there. That's where our pal uh, M. Stimford teaches music at there. Are you? Yeah. So my neighbour and your friend. Who is it? Andy Stentford. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did really well. Yeah. What was your name? Well, he's one of my staff. Oh. He's one of my staff. Great, okay. So. Is that all of us, do you think? Or? Village Troublemaker. Yeah, yeah. it's Village Troublemaker. I'm the last. Trouble. You're the last. I'm the last. Well last. done. That was the hardest bit. Yeah. So you do this nearly every day? Oh, every day. If I'm here, uh, obviously not. not really but I do it twice. I mean, I've already done it once today. I was recording my first instalment of Piano Book today. Um, which I'm I was quite... the guy from Newcastle. Oh, well done, man. That's great. So did you come up on the train? No, just drove up. I'm with a, a guitar builder. He's quite interested in this kind of sort of stuff too. Right. So couldn't resist. Oh man, well I'm very, very flat. Hopefully the whiskey I've bought will be worth it. <laughs> How long is it? Because I, I obviously go through there on the East Coast all the time. How yeah. long is it to drive? Um, two and a half hours. Oh, it's a fair. And you're going back tonight? Yeah, I've got a gig in Durham tonight, so. Bloody like, hell. No choice. <laughs> you'll, you'll just be on the coffee then. Yeah. <laughs> So what kind of stuff? Um, oh god, it's a hard one to explain. Finger guitar. 
Have you heard of a guy called Tommy Emmanuel? Uh, I think I have, yeah. Um, it's sort of like the idea of... Oh man, I always find it really hard to describe. Um, playing like multiple parts of music, so like the bass, melody, rhythm, yeah. at one time on the guitar without loop pedals. Wow. But it's fun, it's fun, I love it, but... Yeah. A little bit, kind of Les Paul did a bit of that, didn't he? So, sort of, yeah. Like, it's still Chet picking. Atkins? Yeah, Chet Atkins, absolutely. Yeah, it's more that kind of yeah. line, but... Yeah, so multiple fun. picking, kind of? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and on just a standard guitar? On just a standard guitar, yeah. yeah. No loop pedals or anything like that. Um, wow, that sounds fascinating. Do you have a website? Yeah, I do. Um, I'll try and give it to you before I go. Well, do you want to dictate it so that people on can, can see it on camera? <laughs> That's cool. It's uh, connorthomasmusic.com. Appreciate Great. it. Great. Um, two who I'm a really big fan of is Daniel Lanois, oh, who's a pedal that. steel. Are you familiar with him? No, I'm not having it. You wouldn't get, you know, he's, he co-produced the seminal U2 albums with Brian Eno. Yeah. And he's a pedal steel player. Oh, right. Um, and Ooh. he developed kind of Edge's sound from what I can. Wow. Uh, well worth checking out his stuff. He's done some stuff with a quartet recently and it's um, amazing. You've ever been to Nashville? Sorry? You've been to Nashville? No, I haven't. It's something that, uh, it's still on my bucket list. Oh man, it's nuts. I'm encouraging my, I probably might go with my wife actually. She's a singer-songwriter. Yeah. And I'm convinced anyone would love it. Yeah. Um, my mum went, who's not really that big into music, but right. we both cried on the plane journey home. Oh. <laughs> it was nuts. So good. It's like kind of going to Mecca. Yeah, basically. Are you going to Nam? Um, I am, yes. Oh, I'll see you there. Brilliant. That'd be good. I don't think we're doing a, a big stand this year. Just kind of, it's more meet and greets. Yeah. Um, I can't stop. We're getting well ahead. Oh, yeah, I just can't stand the noise of that place. In. I'm going with oh. some microphones. I'm one of the. Oh, artists. brilliant. So, um, yeah. I'm hoping it'll be good. I'm nervous, but. Yeah, it's like, bring some, I'm honestly bring some, some earplugs. It's, yeah. it's like mental. Especially the drum room. Fuck. Jesus. <sighs> How are we faring? I'm still here. Excellent. Are you based here? Yeah, I moved here about uh, six months ago. From? From Budapest. Okay. Via London. So. Right, and where are you originally? Because you've got a very kind of southern accent. Uh, I'm from South Wales. Okay. From Monmouth, which is kind of Bristolian. Okay. So, yeah, all over the shop. I know I'd fall over on it. I haven't realised I haven't seen a dog for a bit. He came past me. Okay. So he's probably ahead. He knows this. He knows this walk better than I do. Um, so what were you doing out in uh, Budapest? Uh, writing. Okay. Writing my uh, wife's family right there. And uh, I had a sort of a career change about six months ago. Right. And it was a good opportunity to kind of lower the bills and uh, kind of start a new business. Right. Which is what I'm doing now. And what's that? What's that business? Uh, it's a combination of music, um, sort of audio logos and podcasts. Great. So I put all that together. And it lets me do music. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's, it's finding a way to yeah. balance it all. I mean, I, I know some of our art department in Spitfire, they've decided that the kind of rigours of writing commissioned music for media would kind of destroy their love of music. Yeah. So they went into design as a means to finance that. It's not a hobby, it's a calling, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's it, basically. It's, uh, and, and have you got a URL for your website? I do, it's uh, rockwoodaudio.com. Rockwoodaudio.com. Two Ks. Two Ks. Just so people forget it, you know. We'll make it a C and a K and two Ks. <laughs> It's like my brother with his uh, business partner, they're called The Flight. But when you Google it, you get page after page of cheap flight sites. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember a band in my old town. They were called All You Can Eat for £3.50, and it worked very well for them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like free beer, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. And so Edinburgh, just because you, you liked it, and it's... Oh, we've got friends up here, yeah. and just love the city. Love it. That's amazing. To, to have 
this kind of I always find that Edinburgh's because of the festivals and Hogmanay it's kind of over specced for its size it's uh, got yeah. a lot of infrastructure it really feels like a capital city but it's tiny bit the cost of living is a fraction and of London. to walk 15 20 minutes out of town and you yeah yeah in the thick of it yeah, yeah, so. up those things yeah, great I haven't tried that yet. last this is the last stint hey Oscar, lead the way. So you say about three years now? Sorry? You say about three years you've been here? Uh, six months. Six months? Oh, yeah. wow. I quit my uh, job in the rat race a year ago. Right. And kind of determined I'd uh, starve if I had to. Um, and you figure it out, don't you, when you have to? So. Yeah, I think so. that that's... Uh, I w there was a point with Spitfire where we had... There's a bit of money in the bank. This is years and years and years ago. And uh, our accountant said, it can be bad to have, because it doesn't, it doesn't motivate you. Yes. And that's when we... Well, that's, that's absolutely right, yeah. That's when we decided to kind of dial up the reinvestments of libraries and stuff, and that very much drove us on. Um, but I, I maintain that London is one of two things. It's a... It's a young person's and a rich person's town, really. It really is, yeah. Um, I'm still double-taking when I get restaurant bills up here. Because <laughs> it's so conditioned yep. to think it's like 100 quid per head. You know, and you get a restaurant bill for 30 quid for your entire family. You're like, what? Crazy. Yeah. Also, I still have London brains. So if someone walks up to me at the bus stop and says, oh, it's a lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> Part of my brain's going, what do you want? What do you <laughs> Where's someone standing behind me? Yeah. Yeah, people are... They're wonderful, yeah. A lot more. And as someone from down south, you, I'm sure you share the same thing. You don't feel like an alien here. No. You're doing Glasgow a little bit. They're nice, but because it's a dialect, Yeah. it's... Uh, there's off the seat. Lots of people up for the solstice. Brave souls. Yeah. Uh, is this the first year you've done it like this with a group of yes. campus? Yeah. Campus? Well, I've been meaning to organise something for Edinburgh Composers for a while, and it's just, you know how London, no, sorry, Christmas tends to encroach. And I just thought, I'll bother it. Might as well just do a walk. Very good. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so most walks I go on, I don't end up using my hands. <laughs> <laughs> no. The alternative route we we're going to take today is a couple of hands moments, but... Oh, it's great. This is nice and easy. Look at that, isn't it? Looking beautiful tonight. Wow. Oh, wow. See, when we get to the top, I argue that this is actually a better view than Arthur's seat. There's never <laughs> anyone up here. Right. Oh, it's absolutely stunning today. Right. Trying to take us up the gentle route. Yeah, so just breaking into the kind of enjoyment of podcasts. How many years? That's like, twenty years late. Is that something? It is really. Yeah. Uh, the internet, you know, kind of been around a lot longer than people realise. Yeah, but I just think this long form of kind of human social intercourse is a very, very valuable and productive one. Yes, it's, um, it's lacking. And <laughs> how are you doing? Very good. Oh, the weather's closing in, isn't it? It's a very faint castle over there. Whew. 
How long have you been up? You, you, just, you just came. I just got here, yeah. <laughs> I thought I missed you, so I started marching up. I came about with a lot of toys. I'm Murray. Nice to meet Pleased you. Pleased to meet you, Murray. How are you doing? Are you from Edinburgh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's quite a sinister looking castle there. Hey, Murray. Yeah. up there. <laughs> Look, the hard's coming in. Yeah. Right. Oh. Let's crack open the coffee and the whiskey. Oh, well done. Wait. <laughs> This is all the rabbit shit I sit in. <laughs> yeah, and you very rarely see rabbits, it's quite kind of curious. They do hear footsteps, don't they? Yeah. Right. I've got my daughter's unicorn cups. There's a white coffee and a black coffee and some Lafrogue. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. We can use those for Lafrogue. So please help yourselves. I'll just break these open. So Mario, what do you, what do, you do? Uh, I work full time in a, a retail job at the moment. Yeah, with well, the ambition to be a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. One day, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, at the very beginning of that. Uh, I think I yeah. probably want both. Like that journey. That journey. Long journey. Yeah. <laughs> I think realising it's a long journey is yeah. important. <laughs> right. Dervish. Dervish, pleased to meet you. Where have you come from? From uh, Stirling. Stirling? Yeah. Where's that? It's quite close. It's quite close. Oh, right. 45 minutes south. Matthews. Excellent. Please join in. <clears throat> yeah, help yourself, man. Christian. Yeah. Oh, someone's got biscuits too. They're going to be, and they are going to be soggy by the looks of things. <laughs> totally inappropriate. I think this is white. If I remember the inspection. Yeah, I'm guessing. So it's looking blackish. I'll go first. That's black. <laughs> Don't get too close, I'll just hold that. <laughs> <laughs> that smells like whiskey. Yeah. Right, I'm going to take a dram. Is it like a like a Nice again. It's a pleasure. There you go. It's nice to meet you. And you. <laughs> it's been quite a crazy ride actually. Whiskey anyone? Whiskey? Afterwards. Not just a bottle. No, that's a very, very lovely thing to do. What a great, brilliant idea. Oh, thank you. Composers on the hill on a rainy day. It really is closing in on us. I think it's good. Although it's, it's over. Day, it's kind of quite atmospheric. So. Yeah, it's it's, this is the heart, isn't it? Or heart, heart? I'm not oh, sure. Oh. It's a, it looks like it. Oh, Jaffa cake. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thanks. Anyone else? <laughs> Thank you. Did anyone keep the top for it? Mm, I did. Just keep passing it around. <laughs> Who's that for whiskey? Well, my can't can't possibly. Possibly. Yeah. We, had a, we had a bit of a meeting last night. Yeah. So <laughs> I got to drive back from Pat Hedge on this way, so. Oh and on the drive into town today, police are there. They're just, they're just parked everywhere, waiting for people. Get their, get their quotas in. Once four o'clock comes, they're just going to start pulling over. Nice. Yeah. Anybody that can get there. So, where are you, are you from? Pat no, uh, my pal, the American one. Yeah. Okay. I'm from Pathead. I've been in Edinburgh for about 20 years now. Okay, because you've got an interest in your Canadian. Canadian. Like Canadian. Walk down. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I've become a, a massive fan of one of your fellow countrymen, Jordan B. Peterson. Okay, don't know that. Has anyone checked out Jordan B. Peterson? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, he's uh, forceful, isn't he? Yeah, I don't think I particularly oh, like him. Thank you. But I do. Compelling. Yeah, I just think this kind of. Uh, 
this, this thing about hierarchies versus tyrannies, I think it's quite an interesting, sort of an interesting grasp on it. Something about lobsters, I think. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a bit controversial. Yeah. What does it say about <laughs> lobsters? <laughs> It's, it's a, well, I heard actually lobsters actually, they're, they're like highly evolved plants basically, and actually vegans should eat lobsters because they don't have a central nervous system. <laughs> I think his whole thing about lobsters is that they do have a central nervous system the same as ours. What are you saying? That's, the whole, thing. that's the whole point. Yeah. So that's what I've heard is total bollocks. <laughs> but I, I got it off the right. internet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? I got it off the internet. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I think that he's. One of the most amazing men on the planet, but I also think he's the Antichrist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on like, that. I'm yeah. suspicious. Bit of both. Like, I've seen absolutely every. He's got, he's got dark eyes. Yeah. He's got very yeah, he's dark. Got you can see into his dark soul. <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good, thanks. Excellent, excellent. Where are you based in? Berlin. Berlin? Yeah. So, where were you coming from today? Oh, uh, I'm staying with uh, my friend Chilton Pathe. Yeah. I love it. Give up for a couple of days. Excellent. You staying here for Christmas or? Um, no, just a couple of days. Um, I got to. Uh, I arranged a little oh, wow. choir piece and heard it in a concert last night. <laughs> that was the excuse, but I've got some nice friends here. Great. So, yeah. yeah. right. It's a wonderful city this time. Yeah. Yeah. We, we work together off and on yeah. every now and then. Oh, year. So okay. Watch those. And uh, my partner is a singer. Who's so yeah. so from. So we get together. Yeah. Play and write and do so. Just Oi, Oscar, no, chocolates kill you. It's <laughs> <laughs> great, no, they won't. <laughs> no, no, honestly, not this time. <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> stop it. That's the answer. <laughs> so I was absent for a week during Black Friday, and he's, um, yeah, he's, he's been acting up with me a little bit. He gets a little bit kind of right. I'll show you. <laughs> It's a nice idea, the, the, the talk and the walk. Yeah, good, good, yeah. good on you. Yeah. Nice. Well, we'll see how many people turn out for the winter, for the summer one, which will be a 3.30 start in the morning. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it the same night as the moonwalk, you'll be all right. Yes, exactly. Alan and I were trying to work out how you do a walk like that. Yeah. 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 Don't fall over, hold the camera, and remember what you're saying. Oh, you just cut it. <laughs> That's what well, there's on the cut. Honestly, I'm talking per, per vlog, there's hours of material. It's me, it's getting fucking it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's, uh, it's really, it's been a massive, weird journey because basically, I started coming up here and I just find it just fires your, it just so, it wakes you up and it really make, fires your neurons. It's great for writing and stuff. But with Spitfire, I just started like getting to the bottom of the hill and <coughs> writing about 15 emails going, and we should do this, and we should do that. And the marketing guys, now the CEO, just basically said, we need to kind of find a channel to funnel your kind of, your sparks. <laughs> ah. um, so he suggested this, and uh, I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's been, it's been, it's been fun. But I do, I think it's funny because Paul's like been observing it. He says, what is it about your family? You just somehow managed to find, find to go and get drawn to the light. Because I've got a, um, a cousin who's a farmer, and he even he's kind of on telly. He's, he's a presenter on Country Fire. Oh, really? Moore, which is that? Adam's farm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, so. Is Adam your cousin? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Go. And then I've got two brothers who are composers, and my mum is a is an actress, says so my dad, and my granddad was um, was a very famous um, kind of musical comedy guy back in the day. And uh, he created Aqu Actors' Equity, which is the union. Which is why when Paul and I did Spitfire, I said, you do you know you're getting into business with the union, lad. Which is why it's just, we pay royalties. And stuff, so. Um, yeah, so that's good. So. What was your granddad's name? Sorry? What was your name, sorry? What was your granddad's name? Uh, Leslie Henson. Okay. And this, he, because he didn't make any many films, he's there's not, there's not he, he hasn't left a kind of legacy. Okay. But there's some wonderful pictures of him with um, who was that dancer? Dance with Jimmy Rogers. Fred Astaire. Oh, yeah. he, he brought Fred Astaire because he was an impresario. He brought Fred Astaire over. Um, so yeah. I like the industrial brutality of Newcastle. You don't get that. It's a lovely thing to go look at for a while. Yeah, so. it's like, well, I like them driving. Just go, no, it's fine to go through. 60 miles an hour. <laughs>
Well, go through to like Jasmine. <laughs> Bye. Right, yeah. yeah, I guess yeah. I can find it all on that Some places, like Durham's lovely. It's Durham. I've heard Durham's lovely. You, you yeah. I've also Durham. heard, what's it called? It's like a mini Edinburgh, kind of. Is it? Small it's, Edinburgh, yeah. it's, it's very cute me. Right. But, um, yeah. What's the what's the place that's close to you and they all, they're always kind of getting relegated and getting promoted? Sunderland. Sunderland's meant to be Well, the, the truth is that's where I live. Like, oh, really? <laughs> but it's where meant we to be are. quite beautiful, isn't it? Uh, no, no, no. Is it all the football teams that are around that area? Though, going up and down? Yeah. Up and down, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's the seas are right, yeah. But. Yeah, we're not like going land. <laughs> well, it's like Edinburgh. People don't think of Edinburgh as a coastal town. No, so, yeah, it's like one of the. I think it reminds me. Like, it's not like that way anymore. But Cardiff, I remember never realising that that was a coastal town. It's just this mm. kind of British thing of just kind of having your back to the sea. Yeah, it's strange. Mm. But yeah, that's great. I got. I, I did quite a lot of swimming in the North Sea this year. <laughs> but it's not, it's it's a floodplain, so it's really it's really shallow, so it's actually quite warm. Yeah. No, no it isn't. isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Define warm. Yeah. And what was it for the like, like, said? Fifteen miles away. People yeah. think. Yeah. Make sure you're wearing your safety gear. It wouldn't last five minutes. Going to the North Sea. I'm going up to my knees. I live in Porty, so I go down there every morning. It's just oh yeah, yeah. Friend yeah. 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 of mine, dad's on there. So I've oh, gone really? in about yeah. that. Well, I haven't yeah. risked yeah. 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 <laughs> it. Sure yeah. That's usually an accidental move, that one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to walk in a little bit and then. The, <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Okay. I remember my little boy the first time he went in and had that 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 moment. Yeah. Kind of. Why is my sister already in? It's like it's. Yeah, excellent. Well, I think it's a perfect number for the sheep's heat. And um, it's going to be nice and toasty in there today. Has anyone been there before? No. Yeah. It's a while ago now, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. Well, I can have a little weird sip of coffee. So we're not doing any weird pig and naked dancing or anything? Oh, no, no. <laughs> that's, what thought, that's what I thought this was all about. It does have that kind of feel about it, doesn't it? That kind of... <laughs> But it's a little bit sacrificial. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who's here seen The Wicker Man, the original oh, yeah. 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 Got a kit. Yeah. <laughs> you can get some music thong. <laughs> you don't think of it as music, it won't perish that way. But you kind of, every time you watch it, you go, oh, uh, yeah, and they do the songs. And... Uh, many cool. years ago, we went down to a weekend oh, yeah. book festival. Well, before the festival started. Yeah, stayed in the campground and turned out the young guy in the campground. Oh, wow. Because I used to have a coffee. Uh, yeah, just yeah. Oh, cool. Have you seen them in Poland? Yeah, I've been here. Oh, 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 yeah. The, what, the film I'm really looking forward to seeing is um, is a really good horror film with um, a score by Colin Stetson. The actor, if you've heard of Colin Stetson, he performed here recently. He's this insane uh, bass saxophonist. And uh, but like, I mean, I fucking hate this. Part. And I got dragged. I got dragged to this. Sorry. I got, I got all this. Sopra the sopra you know the soprano, all of that, David Sanborn stuff. <laughs> um, but I got dragged to this gig, so I was fucking, it's a saxophone gig. And I said to my wife, if they start doing that off, off, off beat snare beat, yeah. I'm, I'm going home. But yeah, this guy comes on and he looks like, um, oh, I forget the name of the, uh, the English actor, but he looks hard as nails. He's covered in tattoos, so this huge bass saxophone. Throat mic, so he, he sings through it as well, and he's got pickup mics on on the the saxophone. Yeah, so right. he's kind of just this, and with a, a stand-up bass player and a drummer, he takes a deep breath and just starts going, <laughs> and doesn't stop for an hour. He's doing this circular <laughs> breathing, and, was just like, and he's done a, um, a I think the score of the year for this. Oh, the name there was a little film. documentary about that. I saw it. Yeah, oh. for, I can't forget the name of the film. Um, when I find it, I'll put it on here. Um, 
So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I've heard some of the score, it sounds insane. So it's changed. I'm, I'm, I'm a convert, Alan. <laughs> Mr. Whiskey? <laughs> Sorry? Mr. Oh, whiskey. welcome. No, you haven't. Whiskey's here. Well done. How are you doing? Grand, I'm Shane. Hello. Hey, Shane, how are you doing? Hello. Yeah, that's my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Solo, did Yeah. I saw you from that peak over there. Very sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a better view from this one. Oh, very yeah. sad. I can, well, I can imagine you just going <laughs> up and just going, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I was on this side before. <laughs> so I said, Where, which one's Crow Hill? And I went, you have to go round. <laughs> so I went round to that one. <laughs> the whiskey's there, mate. Help yourself. I was only, well, I'm not only joking. <laughs> 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 Hi, yeah. <laughs> you brought the weather with you. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Oh, that's the coffee. <laughs> Can I, uh... No, I see you. Thank you. Any more, and I won't make it back down here. <laughs> yes, that's right. Of course. Yeah. 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 Apart from this. Yes. Oh God, it's a soundtrack. Is it soundtrack? No, I moved back. Shortly after. It was a classic with Neil. No help. I was there before. Pass a whiskey over. Oh, I like it. Oh no, it's just the whiskey. There we go. Thank you, mate. I'm glad you weren't headed down the other side by the time we got up. Well, you're going to be present for the important one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I need it. Oh. You're good health, sir. <laughs> yeah, that, I did that um, 100 bits of dough today. Yeah. Fucking hell. I, um, I got dragged out to Amsterdam to the dance. Uh, there's a da dance festival there. Right. And someone asked me to do the 100 do's and don'ts there. And then they miscredited me as um, 100 do's and don'ts in advertising. And, and said advertising exec Christian Henson talks you through what, what, what people want out of this. So all of these EDM heads turned up to kind of find out about sinks. And I just went, I just went to the, the event guy Spitfire, yeah. you do know I'm about to get on stage and tell a hundred in jokes to people who aren't in on the joke. And I've never, yeah. I've never, I just, and people were walking out, it was just sheer agony. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. But that was quite fun. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just get over your work ethic, how you managed to keep the Spitfire and stuff. Yeah. Like I, I, I love, I love video work. So I understand how long and time goes yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. Get I do, do it when my kids are showering. So it's, it's my little kind of creep away. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, yeah, I just get over it. And I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, the, the, the one thing I'm not going to do a thing about New Year's resolutions. And I've got to look after myself. Yeah. And I threw yeah. that to death. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. of that. that the drone thing yesterday. I, you know, I didn't get home till two uh, from London. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been exhausting. So I think, you know. Yeah. 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 Every time I pre recorded all the dinosaur shit. Last last year. This little wind yeah. destroyed my Christmas getting in and out of that <laughs> And halfway, at some point, the dinosaurs well, were covered in poo. Sorry to interrupt your conversation. So it's just Chris. It's, a, it's a real Shane. kind of ordeal. What's your name? Yeah. Jess, nice to meet you. I've got a new one. Where he's, where he's come from? Thanks, man. Where are you going to be? Ah, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. Ah, man. Thank you. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from London. 
Yeah, no, 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 I bought that one as well. So uh, like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So ah, okay, so you just did it quietly. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. What's your name? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be in LA. Well, are you from Edinburgh? No, I'm from Edinburgh. France? Yeah. You come over for this? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. First time in LA. Wow, that's that's commitment. It's cool. Oh yeah. Never, Do you try and get into LA? Because Anaheim is like quite a like good experience. I'm not joking yeah. either. Yeah. yeah. I would. I would move to Edinburgh in a heartbeat. I love it. Where you from? I'm actually from Belfast, but um, I live in the south of England. Um, well, I live in the south of England, and I, I come up to Northumberland for family because they live. Some family lives there, and then I just it's like an hour away on the train. So, uh, I'm actually going to Belfast on uh, Sunday, so I'm kind of like, just, um, oh yeah, you, you posted your video as I was coming up from South England on the train, the news, I was like, that's interesting, I'm coming the length of the country, might as well go next to it. Yeah, excellent, brilliant. It's just so, it just so happened that I was, I was visiting family in Northumberland, which is an hour on the train, so. Yeah. Fantastic, oh thanks for coming in. No worries. And you're, you're back to, is it Belfast? Yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm doing a kind of of a Christmas round trip Whoa. to see everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. I love Belfast. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? Oh, it's yeah. I used to go out with a girl from Derry. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, she very much had cheap. She had some potty mouth. But, um, yeah, we were looking at kind of even thinking about moving to Warren Point, which is where she was from. I used to gig at Warren Point every weekend. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. interesting yeah. people there. Yeah. It's, it's still this. Yeah. Still Everybody there likes to go. Yeah, yeah, it's still simmering away there. Yeah, yeah. We I played in a wedding band there, and they didn't like any of the modern stuff. We did. It was all still cool, so wary wary. I'm doing a TV show next year, it's all being shot and posted in Edinburgh. That's just going to be a joy not to have to go back to London. Yeah, we're coming to the My brother's a tattoo, and he comes to the convention every year. That's always my excuse to be Oh, it's great. I've always wanted to come up there, but I've just. Magic. Yeah, I've never like, I've, I've always said I want to go, but I can't really peel away from a friend. So yeah. 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 So, yeah. I'm so yeah. excuse and all that. Excellent. Is that a ski slope? It's a dry ski slope. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very well spec. <laughs> right, I'm going to pack this away. Are you like the new office? Oh, it's great. Yeah. It was really, um, it was, it's getting very cramped at yeah, the other office, yeah. And um, we were just having a problem with like, waste management. Like there's too many people, not enough toilets. So yeah, so that was one of the real, that was one of the real motivators. You'd walk in, you go, <laughs> right. Right. Should we go to the pub? Yeah. Excellent. I'm just going to give the lens a clean. There's a hazardous way down, which is very quick, because you just kind of fall down gracefully. We won't go that way. I don't want to be responsible for messing up people's Christmas. Right, should we head off? This way. Right. Oh, that's great. I moved here um, <laughs> directly from Budapest because a friend of mine had a flat there and uh, they hadn't seen the flat for seven years. Right. They just rented an agent for the flat. Okay, still recording. Great. Okay. It was just a score. It's been declared for a long time. Yeah, well. So the chance of seeing I didn't mind sunset in that old muck. Basically the hard just drew in just as we got to the top and made the 
castle disappear. It's quite terrifying, really. Um, but uh, that's the first time I've come up here and had a little dram of whiskey at the top, and that's, uh, I won't make a habit of it, but it's very nice. I have to admit that um, I didn't really get whiskey, even though my dad's a massive whiskey drinker. Um, never really got it until I moved here, and the first time I did an evening walk, I went down to the pub and just went, yeah, I'll, just, I'll just give it a go, and uh, got it straight away. And the thing I like about whiskey is that um, like the difference between like a 30 pound bottle of wine and a 300 pound bottle of wine, for me, is kind of somewhat nuanced. But the difference between like, oh shit, that was close. A 30 quid bottle of whiskey and a 300 pound whiskey is just fundamental, it's like, heaven in a glass. Not that I'm in the habit of buying 300 pound bottles yeah, of whiskey. Yeah. But anyway. I love jazz as well. Christian, How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear jazz? <laughs> I think one of the problems I have with jazz uh -huh. is that it's, what I've, the, when I've been exposed to it down in London, um, it, well, a little bit too much saxophone. <laughs> I, I love the tunes. I really love the tunes. But it's the, it's the improv that just does my nut a bit. Yeah. Um, but the problem I have is it, it carries, I think it's the only other idiom that carries a similar kind of snobbery to the conservatoire orchestral snobbery that I fucking can't abide. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that's me generalising from my experiences in London. <clears throat> I kind of wondered, like, that I, I didn't really get jazz, so I couldn't... Listen to it, but then I realise there's not really that much to get. It's just <laughs> random. <laughs> it's just that, quite like, random, yeah. Wrong? I think my funniest jazz story was I had to pick a, a tune for my grandfather's funeral. Uh -huh. So I found a beautiful version of Play Misty for me. Uh -huh. And it, it was good because like, they actually played the tune for about two minutes yeah. before it went into this kind of... Tangent. Well, it just went into a, a, a stand-up bass solo, oh, yeah, okay. and I thought it's it's not going to take more than two minutes for us to kind of get into the chapel and for the casket to come in, so that would be fine. <laughs> Roll forward to my poor granddad's coffin coming into the chapel with <laughs> mental stand-up bass solo, but we were good-humoured about it. Look at all this. People drinking whiskey coming down the mountain. Brilliant. Okay. The grass has more grip than the mud, just as a little off the seat tip. Oscar, where are you, mate? Whiskey! I don't know why, but I developed this method of calling him, which is kind of a Japanese Russian, and now he only really responds to it. So I find myself in public play, he goes, Whiskey! 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 Come boy! Come boy! Whiskey! Yes! I don't think I've ever caught that on camera. <laughs> He's a good dog. How long have you had him? I've had him, this will be the, he's nearly three, and this will be the second year. Basically, I, I, we've got this library called Tundra, and I had to do this really convoluted, this is nuts when you see people cycling up the hill. <laughs> Fit bastards. Um, yeah, um, I was doing a quite a convoluted shoot for Tundra, because it's, it's quite a diff difficult library to explain. Yeah. If you just go, it's a quiet library, it's just, well, that sounds shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so that's when we kind of came up with the idea of me kind of trying to get a bit poetic about stuff. So um, we had a unit driver and he overheard me talking about, you know, my wife and kids want to get a dog and I'm just really nervous it's going to change the dynamic of the family. And our unit driver said, well, we've got this Cocker Spaniel, he's gorgeous, but he's, he's really social and he's being left on his own for up to 10 hours a day and it's just, it's just not very good for him. So, um, so he, he came and he was fully trained. And this driver also runs a, a guide dog charity, so he's really well trained, got a lovely, lovely temperament. Wuss gear! <laughs> so embarrassing. 
So I want to introduce you to Alan. And Alan, you're from Edinburgh College, which is, if you're looking to do, it's further education. Is that correct? Is further that, and higher. We do further and higher. We do degree level courses as well. And I have to say, I have never seen a music department spec'd out like it. You've got how many SSLs? Four. Four SSLs. Uh, four Toft Audio Systems and an Audience. Wow. And it's, it's just got a, such a lovely vibe to it. And also it's it's in Edinburgh, which has got a, a great vibe as well. But it's incredible. It's, it's the Milton Road campus, yeah. So, yeah, that's right. I went, I went there oh. years, years ago, years ago. So we just got the new, the new uh, studios. That was the my final like few months. Oh, nice one. Gutted. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll use them for a bit, but... And, the staff are constantly just trying to kick the students yeah. out just so we can do it away. <laughs> and am I right in saying, Alan, you, you said that there's a um, there's a 5.1 room and, and, and a component, you do do a module which is um, picture, right into picture. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we actually have three 5.1 rooms, uh, one of which, the yeah. smallest SSL room, is actually kitted out for music for picture. Great. Which is awesome. Uh, we're currently working on an ADR and Foley room. Right. Which is a kind of next, wow, uh, next plan. How awesome. Something with an ultra low noise floor kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> we're just trying to make use of the, we're just trying to make the best use of space possible. In this time of, um, I mean, something that I'm really concerned about and something I hope Spitfire can help with is um, the erosion of uh, music lessons yeah. around the Western world. Yeah. Is that the case in Scotland as well as the rest of Britain? It's coming under fire quite right. heavily. Like instrumental lessons, one-to-one -one <laughs> instrumental lessons, <laughs> are at threat just across Britain and across Scotland, um, which is a real shame. Now, people hear me waffling on all the time. Why do you think that's bad? Not, you know, it doesn't mean, you know, because was it like the minister for the arts or something ridiculous said do we not think that teaching people music is preparing them for a kind of unsustainable career in it, the creative arts it was uh, was it the head of Ofsted oh it's just I disgraceful think, which, which I read that um, and was just stunned by hearing that I think the part of the problem is that students and children should be allowed to study whatever they want to do yeah. if they want to learn a musical instrument let them learn a musical instrument it's valid to them yeah but also, I think there's a couple of things beyond becoming a musician, is it's a way that it can engage a lot of young people with education. Absolutely. But also, from what I understand, is there's scientific proof that it helps, you know, uh, development in other areas, in the curriculum, mathematics, sciences, that kind of thing. Some of our students don't become musicians, they don't become sound engineers, they don't become, you know, they don't work in the creative arts in that manner, but they've learned so many transferable skills. Yeah that then keeps them in good stead for that. It's, yeah, it's a real shame because I, but we do, I mean, I think at Edinburgh College we do pretty well yeah. with what we've got and the level of our students. Our students are impressed. incredible. And I, you know, someone told me something the other day as which I think which really, it was, it was so obvious, but it was, it's like one of those things at the end of your nose, they said, the other thing, the music and things like dance, and drama help people with is empathy. Yeah. To be working as a group to create a singular kind of thing. Yeah. And I believe, you know, I talk about like NPD and BPD and these, the cluster B thing, it's all, the thing that unifies them all is a lack of empathy. And I think getting rid of empathy, you do with at your own peril because it's like, for me, it's like getting rid of the bees. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's very interesting. Now, if people wanted to find out more about Edinburgh College, because it is, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love to come and have a visit and show, show this lot do around it, it. but if they wanted to have a look in the interim where would they go edinburghcollege.ac.uk excellent thank you very much Alan. that's awesome excellent, excellent. brilliant look it's very much it's kind of weird before christmas to know that the kind of days are drawing in well it's funny i literally have just moved here oh, yesterday oh really it's it's all gone through it's brilliant gone through. stuff Alan. i don't know i've known each other for about a year now um and i know you're coming back yeah <laughs> oh yes i yeah. am aren't i yes I have to think about what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, actually, I think I've got a quite a good um, idea, actually, awesome. uh, which is fun. I'm going to do a talk at Edinburgh College. So, yeah, the, the, the place that you've bought has been built, because you, you were commuting in from Glasgow, weren't Just you? Just outside Glasgow, so yeah. I was doing a 100-mile round trip a day. Gosh, yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so I, I sympathise with the, uh, your commute. My, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's but not, as, not as far, yeah. but... Not, 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 yeah. Yeah, mine is a 1,000-mile round, oh. round trip. 
Um, should get to so it was treat. some mysterious person taking photographs of us. <laughs> CIA. Yeah, it's just, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you doing? What a cacophony of composers <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Hi, how are you? A moan of musicians. Hello, Christian. Please Neil, you. How, how are you doing, Neil? You're right. Not too bad. At so all. you just w waited down here. I was. I didn't realise the radical road was going to be closed. We so couldn't actually get to the oh. car park, so I ended up meeting at the other car park down oh. at the far end of the park, oh, and sorry. then decided to park up behind beside the sheepy. So missed you all, but my fault completely. Excellent. Well, welcome. Ah. So you. Uh, I think everyone can see where we're going, can't they? No one's fallen down yet? They can smell alcohol, it's all right. Yeah, okay. come, come, let's go this way. Um, so, where are you based? I'm based um, about 25 miles south in the borders. Oh, lovely. Of a village called Blythe Bridge. But I last bumped into you in the middle of yes. Harvey Nicks trying to serve oh, you gin. Oh, that's it, gin, yes. yes. It was very funny because uh, I was having a date with my wife. We were having lunch together mm -hmm. and I needed to go to the loo. So, I went past, went past you and you went, oh, I watch your... Your vlog, mm -hmm. and you plied me with some gin, so I went back so to my wife. She went, thing to do. My wife just went, Where were you? I said, Oh, someone recognised me and, uh, and plied me with gin. So, um, I hope excellent. I didn't get you into trouble. No, no, it was fine. So, how's life? Life's not too bad at yeah. all. Yeah, excellent. Pretty good. I'm just very disappointed. I missed, missed the top. Well, of the actually, hill when and missed the sunset, <laughs> we didn't see the suns. Uh, the clouds are really. Yeah, no, the, the, the ha came in, uh, and it was very wet up there, actually. So, um, but we'll have a nice pint now, pint of Scrutex. So are you uh, a musician? Composer? Musician, yes. I'm suffering from imposter syndrome, possibly like many. Um, a few years ago, I headed back to uni to do the composition for screen course at Edinburgh Uni. How was that? It was super in some way. I love the way you on camera. <laughs> You're a bad, Just went, bad man. Um, good. <laughs> One of these things, the opportunities to collaborate is absolutely priceless. Yeah. And whether you need to go to university for that mm -hmm. or whether to just throw yourself into whatever's going around locally yeah. who knows and um, there are such super resources available <laughs> online now um, yeah it is important to get out of your bedroom and meet up with other people yeah but whether you need to go to university uh, for that that's a different i question. think it's horses for courses mm. you know personally i mean i know you know you kind of look at someone like i don't know i work with benjamin ben, benjamin valfish uh, who's you know doing tremendously well and he's a, he's a scholar, you know, yep. and that's what, that's what, you know, his musical kind of mind and his application of it is what is his thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that would be an untapped thing if he hadn't gone to university. Right. Whereas uh, I don't think I ever really responded too well to... Um, I, I think that the way people learn music, I think it's different for different... They're different mm -hmm. brain types. Yeah. For me, it was always just listening and shapes and feeling and that kind of stuff and the minute I le started learning too much about it it started really taking the magic out of it, at it. Yeah. whereas someone like Ben Valfish I can mm -hmm. see can see the beauty in the mathematical you know application of just the way it works yeah. do you know what I mean yeah. um now having said all that yes sorry I totally interrupted no, no, your no 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 not at all no not at all classic certain yeah <laughs> as soon as composers get together and start talking um, start coming across things like the power of sort of musical gestures and things which maybe melodies were not in a good time for melodies these days but yeah. still you want a little something yeah. in there that people can latch on to I guess and yeah. recognise or at least there's a purpose or something sure. happening with the music um, but opportunities to collaborate with animation students and filmmaking students at Edinburgh um, yeah. and the, the art college the ECA guys absolutely brilliant yeah. and that was well worth everything I tell you the thing that is troubling me just by talking to people like yourselves about the way that um, screen music is, is taught and particularly with the kind of debates that I'm having on this channel is that it seems to me that the one aspect of being a film composer, which is being a head of department, is teachable. Do you know what I mean? That it's like, you know, how to deal with people, how to kind of schedule your time, how to set up spreadsheets, how to manage sessions, all of that kind of stuff is totally teachable. And they're very much, you know, but what I find is, is all composers have had to kind of stumble across their own system 
whether they've been to college or not. And then this idea that you can teach someone to be a composer and, you know, to how do you find that melody? How do you find that inspiration? To me, it strikes me as something, sure, the theory is teachable, but being a successful, you know, craftsperson. Yeah, and the craftsperson bit, there's a, a slight problem area in with some of the technology and some of the opportunities available from it and the complexity of some of it. Yeah. It can totally get in the way of actually just knuckling down and getting something composed. Yeah. And I think I underestimated the learning curve on a lot of that kind of stuff. And yeah. I would have been better at times just sticking the, the voice recorder on and the phone and hammering out stuff on the piano and the guitar and sort of getting back to the basics. And then letting something bigger come than the opportunity to get completely lost in a couple of bars. Um, yeah. I think that the, um, the, one of the difficulties with technology is it's, uh, it really suits the pr procrastinator in us all. <laughs> to see people just going Crassness? just don't know about it then <laughs> just uh, oh this is just this looks so lovely this evening it is not beautiful um, this is called uh, what's it called something ladder uh, Jacob's ladder um, yes I, 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 I do think it's, it's just, I think one of the nice things about university because we have lots of people who, who are young who watch this is, is it's, it's about what you experience at university as well on, on a kind of a social level I think that's if I regret anything about not going to university is, is that, that period of my life as opposed to kind of living in London working in sock shop just worrying about money for 10 years you know yes. it's just uh, mm. um, interesting but there's another I went to uni originally and studied electronic engineering and spent a lot of time out in the world doing different jobs before going to the composing slightly later yeah. on so I've seen the soulless alternative and you don't want to go back there no um if there's a hope that you can no, do something with the music, so whether it's... Can I pass this over to you whilst I just uh, put a lead on Oscar? Certainly. Oscar, stop. Stall this old girl, if you're talking about... You're a wet snap, mm. oh. Just now. <laughs> so is Oscar. What a good tap, Oscar. <laughs> Great. So what are you, uh, you... Your current kind of ambitions? What do you... Current ambitions? So, at uh, the moment, I am... Um, teaching a fair bit of piano Great. and studying some more sort of general holistic music teaching Great. Um, approaches with the Kadai um, inspired teaching methodologies. There's a great setup in Scotland with the um, the National Youth Choir of Scotland and um, over at RCS at the Conservatoire. Yeah. I've been going to summer schools and completing modules there, which is a really brilliant. Got sort of some of the music education stuff. I just I wish I had been exposed to some of that when yes, I was younger. Yes, absolutely. Um, it would have made the world a difference. At the moment, looking at actually going back and doing a teacher conversion course um, okay. next summer. But realistically, I can't just drop everything and try and become, you know, Sure. The next big, big thing, composer-wise. So it's got to be something you know, look to collaborate and develop. Absolutely. Go along. But really, well, the yeah. thing we enjoy is, you know, I've always thought I'd love to have a mug that says, "I took two of the greatest loves in my life, music and music and film, and turned them into a fucking job." And I think that that it's all about having the opportunity of playing music is the greatest joy of what what we do, and it's such a small part of being a film and TV composer. Um, I think, uh, yes, it's, a, it's an in interesting conundrum. Yeah, you're, one of the things that really brought it back to me is I um, went and volunteered working at a head injuries charity, running a little sort of music right. group for them, like a music therapy group. I'm just remembering to step away from all the preciousness of a lot of the music I'd been surrounded by. Um, I'm just remembering that at a certain level, music can just get to people like nothing else. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that absolutely. was one hell of a reminder. Absolutely. Ah, toasty warm. Bring me a hi, Jay. Bring in a large invasionary force in. <laughs> oh, it's steaming up. <laughs> Um, sorry? Um, yes, we've just finished uh, one of my walks for my YouTube channel, and these gentlemen have kept me company, so it's not. Uh, and there's one lady as well. We're so, his boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, uh, drinks are on me, if, you, if that's okay with you, Joe. Dervish, 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 Oh, yeah, it's that in and out of the cold, and then. Yeah. Into the electric radio. What's that? Into the electric radio. Oh, yes! Yes, of course! Yes! Could, can you explain, explain to our friends what the electric is? Uh, electric grey, so it's a place in Ayrshire, down, down south of Ayr. Um, basically, there's a road, and if you're in a car, it seems like you're going uphill, you're actually going downhill, and vice versa. And it's something to do with some sort of weird geographical thing. I don't know. <laughs> my, kids, my kids are desperate to go, so maybe take them in the new year. Great stuff. It's great to see you, man. Mr. Uh, Watt has come from Glasgow. Oh, no. It's actually just in time. Oh, but well, you come here for the important bit. Yeah, no, totally. Thanks for coming over from Glasgow. Oh, no, no problem. It's just worth me. Oh, so I've uh, brought an invasionary force with me. No, but that's not just my bad. Are they all paying? No, me, me, me paying everything. Stunning. So, but maybe start with me. <laughs> I'll have a, a, a bottle of Peroni, please. Actually, maybe I'll have a pint, sorry. Oh, it's Christmas time. <laughs> no, it was just the heart came in, so it wasn't actually raining, it was just it was being in the cloud for a bit. So that was good. But it was very slippery, I'm surprised no one, there was no paper accidents. Yeah, yeah. The taxi driver on the way here was just like, yeah, I wouldn't go up there today. It's just like too slippery, but... It's very interesting, actually. That's what I've noticed about... Um, oh, the same place. Yeah. What I've noticed is the minute it starts raining, no one comes out. Yeah, yeah. And you think that it rains a lot, but not as much. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, though. You know, like, gets rid of all the fire. Hello, Andrew Wilson. Hello. Nice to meet you, Andrew. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Excellent. Lovely food. Where have you come from today? Bigger. Just after bigger. 30 miles. Oh, great. Um, from Edinburgh originally. Okay, right. I haven't been here for uh, 25 years. Uh, Sorry, I'm Joseph. I don't know whether I gave you my name. Hi, Joseph. Nice to meet you. Let's uh, chink on that Cheers, one. Cheers, absolutely. Thank Lovely to see you. So, um, are there a few people here? Yeah, it's all of the whole <laughs> the whole pub is uh, temporarily. But no, really nice bunch of people actually, really lovely. Um, did you get up the hill? Yes, we got to the top. Yeah, it was very good actually. Everyone did really well. Not much of a sunset though, was it? No, it was a kind of just we were in the clouds. So, um, but, um, but one girl, which is. A, a bigger representation than actually is this 0.2 percent of my channel is, is, is really is yeah, yeah, it's de- really disappointing because yeah. I'm a dad of I've got three kids and two two girls and I get um, I just find it surreal yeah. and I, I I'm not allowed to say the split is female versus male but it's, it's single digits. I think it's just a simple human trait that if you don't see, I think, this is a very basic, if you don't see someone in your own form doing something, you don't associate that being something you can do. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I, I think if you were to reverse it on men, um, you know, my mother was really into embroidery. Yeah. And I got really into it. And, okay. you know, you could do really, like, boyish uh-huh. images, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the image of a man sewing was difficult for me to contemplate. Okay. And also going to massively rough, comprehensive school. Yeah, yeah. Even more difficult. No, it's funny, it's interesting, 
I, I can see you kind of thinking, yeah, no, that would be a bit tricky. I went to a rough school yeah. and I deliberately took like, the home economics so I wouldn't get my ass kicked on a daily basis. <laughs> It was like, it was all, and all, all the thugs were in music because they knew they could just fuck about all day. And, and the, the teacher was, didn't really care, but home economics, that was like a safe space, so I'm feeling that, you know? Yeah, definitely. absolutely. Oh, awesome. Ooh. I was feeling rough as shit today. That walk, that, yeah, well, basically, it's fine. It's a really good idea to move to Edinburgh and fly down to London twice, twice a week. Um, so I always have to have a drink. And um, that's why I tend to get a train down and fly back. Um, but yesterday, because the drone thing, the flights were fucked. So you go, oh, it's Christmas, and I'll sit at the Fulton Mason bar and, and just wait. Up this morning, which is awful, but that walk really does knock it out. Cheers, man! Cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. <laughs> is that for evidence? Because you said you would buy a beer for Yeah, I did honestly. Thank <laughs> you. The truth be known, I actually have my own button on the till. <laughs> I'm not joking, it's button 69. <laughs> Did you choose that button? No, I didn't. Actually, it was it belonged. You chose it for Joe chose it for Guys, <laughs> no night. No night. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.